Today we're going to make pop pong. This is an easy recipe. I know I always say things are easy, but this is easy. And the taste is absolutely wonderful. The first thing we have here is one stick of butter. You see I cut it up. One cup of milk. And this is a cup of self-rising flour. I'm going to put the butter in the oven here, the microwave oven. So I put the butter in the microwave to melt for one minute, just under a minute. All right. Now here's the ingredients for the pot pot. The original recipe calls for a 10 ounce box of frozen mixed vegetables. Since I've been making it over the years, I have increased a few things, like the vegetables. I put in more vegetables. This one is about two pounds of vegetables. The recipe could take it. Here we have the uh, cream of chicken soup. It takes two cans. Scrape it out good. And this is the second can of cream of mushroom soup. In here with one can of corn. And this is one and a quarter can of chicken broth. Whatever your desire is, that's what you use. Okay? And then comes the chicken. Now I want to talk to you about the chicken. This chicken is two very thick chicken cutlets. I bought this $1.79 a pound, which means they're not cutting off the fat and they're not cutting them thin. These were two thick chicken cutlets. I took them, I cut them up to what I hope is bite-sized pieces. Not too big, not too big. And uh, that goes in. I'm going to mix this together. It's like I'm playing a two-year-old I'm banging around. Now I want to mix this together. Now this is all it is to make the pot pie. We've mixed this together, put it in the pan. The oven is heating up at 425. I already washed my hands. The counter is clean. Just saying. Just saying. Put it in the pan, the one that's not too high. Not that big lasagna pan, the thinner, the thinner one. You put this in here. Dish it out. Make your room for everybody. And now I'm going to get the butter out of the microwave. Yes. All right. Now this is the topping. One stick of butter melted. One cup of milk. One cup of flour. And I'm going to mix, I'm going to use a whisk and I mix this together. I want this to be a little thick. If it's too thin, I'm going to put a little more flour. If it's too thick, I'll add some more milk. This I think is a little thin. I'm looking for a little flour. If I let it stay a few seconds, it might thicken up. But I want to tell you a story where I got this recipe. I got this recipe from PTL. Some of you are young, you might not, not know PTL. And on PTL was a husband and wife team. And her name was Tammy Faye Baker. And on this programming, it was on all day long, she, she started a cooking show. And one of the first meals that they made, because they were down south, was chicken pot pie. When I saw it, I could not believe what a great, easy recipe. I got all excited about it. And now, See, this is thickening enough now. But I want to, this has to be pourable. You have to be able to pour this. All right. Now this for me is a little too loose. So I'm going to put a little more flour in here. Just a little bit. You see it'll thicken up somewhat. See it's starting to thicken up? It's getting thicker already. 
sometime I, maybe I went over on the milk, maybe I went over on the, oh, the oven's ready. The oven's ready and I'm ready to pour this. All right, now can you tell it's kind of thick? It's not liquid, not loose. We want that. We want it to be poured. And now we're going to start. And I'm going to pour it. And drag it. Put it in there and drag it. If I miss anything, I'm going to go back. You can't make a mistake with this. This whole pot pie is spaghetti. The taste is wonderful. You could feed a family with this and a few friends. Anyway, PTL, whatever it was or wasn't, I'm always grateful for this recipe. Down south, they know how to make this. Italian girls from Brooklyn, we don't know how to make this. All right. And you see, we covered this up. Okay, so we poured the spoon, spoonable topping on here. I want to make sure you get a good look at this. I can only tip it so far. I put mine in a cookie sheet because it could spill over. And you know what happens when the oven gets dirty and it gets smoky and it's a mess. We don't want that. This is going in a 425 degree oven for 45 minutes. I put it lower, lower than I want that top to cook. Now the pot pie is baking, we need 45 minutes. I want to give you a little, what I'm going to call, Mary's Kitchen hints. Now when you work with garlic and you chop it, and you know that smell gets on your hand, and nothing we think is going to take it off. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to wash our hands, and make a little noise here. Wash our hands, and then we're going to rub it on the faucet. Rub it, go in between the fingers. Rub, 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 rub. And I promise you, that odor will be gone. I hope you try it. If nothing else to prove me either right or wrong, we'll be right back. All right, that's 45 minutes. Let's take a look. We want it to be golden brown on top. Oh, and indeed, it's beautiful, beautiful. Can you see that color on there? Can you get a good look at that color? Beautiful golden color. This is what we want. Let me turn off the oven. So remember, remember a few things. Now see this spilled. I don't know if you could see it on the camera. But this spilled over. But not in my oven. In the, in the sheet pan. It's going to be easy cleanup. Easy cleanup. These are my peanuts. Dish towels are my penis in Italian. I do have, I'm going to show it to you. I have plenty of these. Plenty of them. I just don't use them. I like the my penis. All right. Remember when you make the, the topping, you use self-rising flour. If it comes out too thick, you put a little more milk. If it's a little thin, today it was a little thin, I put a little more flour, a little bit, a tablespoon, then you see how you like it. I mix it with the whisk. The amount of vegetables, you can put whatever you like. Today I put almost two pounds in here. I like between a pound and a half and two pounds. When it's golden like this, after 45 minutes, you take it out. Now, if the it's not golden, put it on another eight minutes. Until it turns golden. You, you would like to have that. Because then that becomes a nice, see, it has a thump to it. I don't think you can hear that here. Okay. I wish you enjoyed this. This is I, this is what I call a happy meal. You see, a family could eat with this. Tomorrow I'm going to take the church to pantry. Because the workers in there are volunteers. And they work hard. And they work a lot to do the job. They love what they do. They understand there's a reason for that. All right. I want to say something more about the chicken. Now, me, I cook the chicken from thick, thick uh, chicken colors. You don't have to do that. 
you could go to the grocery store. There's this chicken there, ready made, ready cooked. It's baked, it's roasted, whatever it is, already cut up in pieces. When you get it home, you got to cut it up a little bit more. Could you mix it? Let's mention names here. Or you can buy the rotisserie chicken that you get in the grocery store. You can cut that up and uh, put it in here. Just be aware that sometimes the rotisserie chickens are very salty. So maybe you want to get one can of the cream of chicken soup that's no salt or low in salt. Because then it's, it's, it's distasteful when it's too much salt. Okay, yeah. this is my pot pie recipe. I hope you try it. It's easy. You could come home from work and cook it. You see it only bakes an hour or whatever it is to prepare it. Thank you.